investing that time to have such a big agent pool definitely means that the movement of the players there. Woo! Saya. They break this turret. Look at how slow it is for the guard, but now as we're watching that flank, the guard are just rushing into this A site. Oh my god, the pressure cooker! Oh, they're just stuck inside it right now. Can guard get themselves to safety here? A crew instantly snaps down on the strategy and they all walked out mid at the beginning bands. And now Sire player with only 10 HP, so health advantage going in for a crew is having an opportunity to melt down some opponents. Here comes the first peak, the double swing, the cloud burst, but it's still gonna be calm. There it goes, that neon at sewers. Counter attack coming in here as Saya player pushes out towards long and rehit. Here we it. go. It was the Aljon that forced out the rotate. A trailblazer coming back from the defender side to confirm that nobody's moving in from A site. But already rotated is going to be a crew inside the C site right now. Spike has yet to be planted, but Jonah P is holding it from behind again. Another flat face. Oh, does he meet three at a time? There's one going to be. I think they heard him. Ooh. Oh. The sewers. So those Aljons are going to kiss. And it's looking for the first blood here on long A side. Flash! And a nice kill from Neon. 10 seconds left. Nova Pulse doesn't work. We saw uh, at least a kill. 4v5. Got a lot of heads up there in heaven. It could be tough to retake, but Gucci makes it easier by one. That's uh, one head down. That's another body down as well. All thanks to Neon, but Valen here capitalizes and retaliates right away from Hellside. A nice flash and a drop. It's a 2v1. Trent, we talked about him as a clutcher, but it's not going to happen. Kempeki does get the kill, and Aku has a successful retake in class. And while we have Shock Darts Great for the back push. of the C site, we have a double fight coming in from the back. And look at the trickle discipline. That's one, two, and three really quick opening up Gorgeous. the C site. And this is going to be a beautiful force buy coming in for the attack. Guard hasn't done this. They've gone kind of slow. And the box. <laughs> Unfortunately, not with the recon dart there, but we're still going to have Pancake's peek out because right. he only had the Spectre. So he gets headshotted here by Trent and Neon. You could definitely tell at this Ooh. point. Posting it up, trying to make it expensive here. He does manage to take down Net, but that is also correct. They're going to be able to push in here. Find a plan on it. Why not? Oh, it works. Oh, Insta. <laughs> Insta. That was instantly. Correct, the debuff going in from the gravity well, but they're just trying to get this information. They're actually spending out the Hunter's Fury, and it's all pancakes so far. He does get another ping and a kill off the Slayer player. So this allows Calm actually to go for a play, but he's stopped by Trent down towards the hell side. A kill coming in from the class of Kempeki, and just like that, it turns into a three versus one. We have Shark Darts now going on default. A Hunter's Fury being forced out now from Trent. It's a three on one again, as we mentioned before, and now one pushing down towards Long A. He does get the kill. It's the fuse on halfway. He's trying to get the kill but runs what? out of bullets in no time oh. a little bit they want to make sure they don't lose on that and then not have anybody behind for the flank but it's going to be trent that so goes awesome. down they do have nothing left. from jonah right now guiding light maybe soon seems like it might do exactly the same thing again here trying to force Ooh. this rotate towards the b side and a late lurk towards a but because we've committed inside the site we were able to get fire on top we at least get a plant but this is going to be so difficult here for net to try to go for a flank if he can so jonah p he has to do his best flashes to come out and already somebody's watching that flank on neon at the same thing for this rotate as well to come out towards a side but look at net he's inside garage there's a trap wire there along c side north grass so everybody's focused on garage here comes a recon dart to clear out back site neon's the first point of contact beautiful flash from going to b and we have pancakes that's opening things up but there's a full trade going in from both ends and it's still an advantage going out for the guard and there you go they push towards that back off the pancakes the words are hard <laughs> as, they get, as they get that ultimate online a little bit more still trying Wow. Still trying. They just bait it out. He's, He's not even going to get corner the corner here. Shot darts coming in. Pink is just trying to survive, and he does. How they feel according. And then the second hit. It could be huge. Do they trade this one? They do. Oh, he got the neural uplink off. He got the uplink off before they could get out of that situation. And now they're going to know it's the hit onto A. The screw comes back to the rotation. Is there post plant? Still going to be good here. The guard has been trying to right the ship with theirs. Went all the way to B after that situation when they killed one long air. Eh, went all the way to you have net starting to move away from that. At some point, two quick frags coming up the sewer. There is a crew get a little antsy. We don't really see that from them unless it's just neon pushing up. Yeah, that's more on the guard as well as 
how good they are at posting things up on again that so much money to work with for the guardians in the last round so we needed more kills it's not about the econ damage at this point it's just about trying to win the round and it's not going to happen as Saya player gets that wall bang up the car time he's got traps on long there's also a star right behind it he's watching short will he be able to hit this Beautiful the flash, flash comes through Kompeki comes up big Trap kill as well for Kong, so that's an early, makes that a 5 on 2 in favor of the defenders. So they're looking to close it on a 7 5. Last two players for the card at long, make that oh only word. one. Jonah P cannot get it done, a flawless. He said Kong getting nice and tagged. And I wonder if they cut noise or they just, they're gonna keep going on this with that tag on Trailblazer Vans. This is the full A. Woo. Here it comes, but it's still going to be Neon and Gucci opening things up. Valen only able to get one inside that site, so it's going to be a three-man late retake going on. But a beautiful... Well, actually, it's, <gasps> it's not planning yet. Left. They're trying to go for it. They went for the same thing with the shock dart. That's Ooh, actually going to take down Kempeki. So nice shock darts here from Trent. A three-on-three. -three, Neon pushing forward towards spawn side. And now it's going to be a double swing coming in. And Neon's like, I don't want to fight this yet. Out towards heaven side, being pressured by Graffiti. And we still have guard moving in towards his A site, leaving only Gucci on a 1v1 and it's still gonna be net for that red bull clutch i'm gonna call it the rest for the defenders and fast pace on a crew side on long a lots of noise being held there should be a kill coming in wow. from everybody actually on tagging their kills tagging their duels on short actually they're just gonna jump over it okay so they, this i was even afraid for him in that moment one that's why I like that they're both going in together towards garage side too, just in case they can pressure things there. That's probably going to be the site they're going to be hitting. Is you can just kind of be a little more inclined to think you that due to the duelist needing to get into the site, being the one to dash in, and there it is, Ooh. the indication that they need to be at A. And Sai got the kill towards Calm, and people are pushing inside the A site. It's still being held, and what a beautiful hold there for the guard. Everything went by, you take play for uh, the guard because they have Absolutely. that lockdown available. Yeah, they're playing super safe. There's no... Ooh, Maybe not. <laughs> that's an angle he was not expecting. Cold Sia player for just a moment. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit off as well, so it's not going to allow yeah. any like real lineups to happen. But we, we already have pancakes playing towards long A anyways. So this will allow the guard to push in. Close angle for Neon. He's just going to let himself get uh, detained. But then Jonah P is going to trade it right away. Running through that at the same time. Seekers to come out. And we're going for the full defuse. People are trying to fight back for a crew, but it's still Jonah P with the 4K. And, but then here comes the retaliation, that 1v1. It's going to be Gucci. And that opens up all this information. Everybody's going inside this B site. The Blade Storm is off for Neon. Headshot onto Trent. That's already one first to fall as we have this force by going in for the rest of the guard. An early 5 on 4, a plan to come in and calm watching that. How Net set up last round. Net had a swarm grenade right there last round for their retake position. This time they're both on the C site. So the instant plant. This the distribution of strats here from a crew seems to be thrown guard for a loop. It's all about these post plants where it gets touch and go. The flank. Oh man, it was, it was spotted. It was spotted. So great job here for the guard. They're able to save their weapons, but it's still two rounds, one in garage. Because it seems to make a crew move a lot. Both teams did this a bit last time where they throw a bit of garage, pepper it. And Nat's able to just get that trade. The alarm bot triggers on the second, and they're very aware that C could be the hit. And it's going to be Pancakes with the Hunter's Fury from Long Seaside. That's already going to pop net down. And as we clear out towards the site, thanks to the Hunter's Fury, we're not really in there yet because we already had a fast rotation going in for the defense. Exactly. With the Shock Dart. A Recon Dart. I had to come out at the same time. And it's going to be a crew that still has the advantage. Side player, though, with this Bulldog that we mentioned before. Bites the first one. Barks for the second. And will he get this one if you want? And he will for the Red Bull Clutch himself to make it 11 to 8 for the guard. For Stingers, we're trying to close the gap, and it's going to be towards B side. Beautiful flash for Kempeki. Continue to push towards the H hook point. Does get the dink. Jonah's at 72 HP. He does have Seekers himself, though. So this will allow for the retake to happen as the plant is attempted on B site. Another B strat. I love the riskiness. Ooh. A crew takes down two quickly, spamming through the smokes. A little bit of a Kaladi there. Another Kalat! Yes! Almost another collat. They can't shadow each other in these plays. The shots coming from Jonah P. Do trade though, Vans. Got it. Like to get more information in. Okay, they understand that. A one for one's good enough. Do not overextend. Trent decides to fall back inside sight. You rotate the players out too. It's punted for long, but Sia player is in a good spot where he can get a a, a, a flank. Sorry, earlier on. 
But we do have to Hunter's Fury to deny the plant for a bit, but Gucci still gets the kill onto net, so that's the KG utility down. Here comes the Shock Dart at the default spots, but it's not going to get the kill. No denial on the plant, but it still at least Great gets trade. the kill onto Gucci. Now Neon looking down as the Cypher is pushing down as well to try to re-clear Garage. When well, we talked about that flank, we talk about the push down towards Garage, so it's a one for one. Blake Storm for a Sire player, Cloud Burst in the front of sight. A double swing for the attackers here in the oh! front, and what a shot here from Sire player! Two daggers in the face fire! of Tom and Pancakes, and that's gonna be the guard! Okay. Oof. Great way to end it so far on that last round, but it is map point for the guard, but even with their victory, look how low the economy is here, Riv. Sire player has to go for half- Trent, everything yeah. one after the others use long, so they should not be considering. This, Saya player the whole time, the signature pushdown of oh. what I oh, I saw win back in the day with Genji. Wardell for TSM. <laughs> he gets the kill down towards Long C, where everybody else is rotating into Garage now for Ikru. Oh. And Ned gets a spray for two kills on top of that, and we're just canceling that out. Because we had a lockdown at the same time. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. Thankfully now, no Killjoy utility available inside B site because Net has fallen. But then we talked about the rotation. We already have Trent inside here, this A-Link side. Recon Dart now available. A flash should come out. He blinds his teammate, and now he has a recon dart towards the HO. Another flash, a push through. He tries to get this kill with success onto Kempeki. Just around the corner, though, is going to be Jonah P trying to push himself with the two flashes that he used. Watching Saya. that fight now, Gucci. Saya. Yes, with Sai on the top here, and they're getting these trades in. And Fallon gets the last two kills to now make the guard successful. Cool Cat's going to be the hit, though. They do have Long being covered by Gucci, as it looks like this A hit will commence. That's the beauty of playing the double initiators right now, just to force these rotates in. We're still spraying with the ghost, now we're pushing inside the smokes, and that was a mistake! Net and Trent going with the punishment. Trying to get Classic inside the site. Plant. Finally plant towards A, now it is the 5-3 take, as you said before. Quick gravity well to prevent them from coming in, Jonah P on the top side, just do what he can do! Remaining. So far so good for Pancakes though, looking to clutch a 2v1 on both ends is just gonna be... Fragments out, so they know they're pulling utility. A crew does not have to go in just yet. They're feeling a lot. Oh, they're also delivering a lot, too. Quick kills their vans. I talked about the pistols and how they're good with those, right, for this team. And now we have a 2v2, but it's still Venom alive with the Spectre. And then Calm goes in with the Frenzy. A Frenzy and Marshall combo in a 1v1. Net just around the corner, just managed to make his way outside from the turret. And he beats it up and still gets the headshot. And now it's a 1v1, but Kempeki does get the kill in the end, so it might happen. Zero point on the attacker side does not connect their Fury, though, because you have it available for Pancakes at A main. Ooh! Nice zero point, though, but it still Got catches it. up oh. just on time. And Neon pushes it through the tree. He gets two kills out of that. The fight from Jonah P. It's a 1v1 in the back here, and it's still going to be Khan that gets the upper hand. Now two guys alive inside this A site. Alarm bot out. It's a tap off the spike. Valen does get the kill, and it's a 2v2 with a cross hard towards A main. A gravity well to come out. Now another star to come towards the ground for Nova Pulse. Now the double swing to come out. Felon for a kill. Felon with the second. And we're trying to get the defuse in for Trent. Will they have enough time? Unfortunately not. As the They're already going to drop that alarm bot, so they could move on here. You have to be very clear. Kerplin Market. Tom puts himself in a sticky situation and Net takes him out. What a nice recon dart there by Trent to allow for that smoke kill to happen. And now the yeah. Aldrone to try to ping more and it's going to spot one. Meanwhile, side player does get the kill onto the Lurk and that smoker down. The hit inside the B side is going to be so difficult now for uh, a crew as Neon gets picked off by Jonah P. But Kempeki on that Lurk towards that back mid side trying to stop the bleeding at least into this round. Still plenty of round, plenty of time to work with as yeah, Kempeki is trying to close in towards B. He just sits here. Doesn't have to move. Wait for good luck, have fun. Trying to isolate the individual duelos. And he's clearing out towards Log. He's utility towards B-Main. That said, though, we hear the KO null commands coming out from both ends. And so it's going to be a brawl now towards this B site. And there you go. Net to fall. That's KJ utility down. But we still have Trent in the back of the site. And I like that it's actually Kempeki moving forward first. So he could be the turret, the camera to find information. And an immediate yeah. trade happens in for Pancakes. Then Sire player and Valen closing in. We have the spike. Just planet it now, but three players towards this defender side spawn for guard to try to close in. A dash coming out as Gucci spotted towards market. We're also pushing up towards that staircase where it's Pancakes that's able to get the two kills off the information where Gucci was at. So it's off the side play with the daggers. There's that first kill. The right click close range does not connect as Pancakes gets... Once they get into the site, they can just throw that top side just to the left of KJ here. Like Keep Tom safe. There it is. Boom. Compex up. 
Oh, Neon's gonna be able to get the first shot, and then Gucci trades. Zero point now, so we can't get a dash away from Neon, but he's still posted up with this operator. Here comes a Hunter Spear on defense. Trent will be able to get the kill Ooh. onto Kent. The generator is gonna help out for a bit as Tom is going for the just sneaking in towards the back of the hell side, but he actually gets picked off here by Valen. Here comes the Hunter Spear back on the attack, though. Oh, he's man. going for that second pulse. They can actually eat this now. So <laughs> Just as soon as they come around the corner, the wall's coming up, the spray coming in from the Odin at the same time, the shorty close range, mm. but it's not going to work out for us. Yeah. Yeah. That Cost gravity well fight. says, wait a minute. And the cosmic device still allows for them to move in, and here comes the blade storm out, though. The two backside works out as Net does get the headshot onto Neon to cancel out the ult. Now the spray, just to try to get the o uh, the lockdown what? down, it actually kills Net at the same time. The second one's in the back of the site. So he leaks across, gets that kill, the last one's in the back site. Now he gets cancelled, fragment on the right side, drop it in on that left, and that's the kill for Jonah B. We're tied up 5 to 5. We have a null <laughs> command going back towards the top of heaven, so nobody can really come in with utility on top of that. So that's gonna cancel out the lockdown. Valen playing towards hell. We're lining him up, we're knocking him down. That's 3 to fall now for a crew, leaving only two more pinged out. Is there, and they're just waiting for that, and that's potentially off the contact of turret. Here comes that flash, and there's that kill from Neon. He ran right in front of that flash. That was a great kill from Neon. They're going to be hitting A here, and they have got a little bit distribution out of the site. It's exactly what Guard wanted. And a crew do the post plan. Door is now closing. Trent going Friends. for shock darts onto pancakes. Three players from a crew moving in towards heaven side. One flank inside the smoke. Com swings out, but Sire player gets the kill. A zero point also to give it uh, to just make him discovered as Neon gets another kill with the frenzy down towards hell. We're closing in. We can't find the last player because he's on the flank. Actually, there's two players alive. Sorry Ooh. for the guard. Nice oh. kill from Trent. Now finally Neon. One enemy remaining. Oh. Net on Please. that 1v1, and he gets Please. the clutch there, the Red Bull clutch for the 2v1 for Net. Through pushing again, slowly looking oh to my suffocate. What? what? Trent, laser Deagle Demon on the shot, takes Kempeki down instantly as he tries to strafe out. That's a weapon they can pick up, and Trent's actually trying to go for it, and he gets thwarted. Now it's off a of wall bang too, so I'm trying to figure out maybe Ken Pecky because they're <laughs> low on an econ. Did he only have half armor or something? But it works yeah. out, it pays off. The lots of information as we're closing in for a crew. For it on the top of sidewalk. A dash in, but it's still gonna be some trades coming out. Yes, we're doing the econ damage Big in the end, but uh. it's still gonna be a crew that gets there is working out towards that side. And look at that pinch from the B-Link. <gasps> the fragment on the ground, and it does get a couple of kills, though, from both ends. Still, the advantage for the defender side. Now through smokes, we talked about that before. Another kill coming out as they're trying to get a surprise kill from Calm outside the nebula on Catwalk. But it's still going to be the upper hand for the guard. A three-on-one. Pancakes does have Aldron and two Shockies, but it's not going to be enough. Because he's going to have to face against three players. A little bit over-complacent as Pancakes does get the kill onto Valen, but that's it. The trade comes out in the use of that updraft lane right by the fragment, but that said, here comes a little bit of turret information as Jonah P activates Null Command, immediately gets res by Sire Player as they open up with two kills. An attacker locked down so on good. top of that just to clear out the B site. Al Jonah to come in as well just to make sure that at least staircase is clear. We're trying to respray back for Calm. Does a little bit of damage with that, but not enough. Fragment now to finally open up the site as we're finally moving in for guard, and we will get a plant. Nice flank. He's the side. We saw zero point going out towards the pizza side, and then the retaliation from the defenders. And there you go. Play your own game. You spot one, you beak out, you dash away. But we have a flank from Sire Player. Another one to push forward. A null come in that gets immediately gets literally nulled as he gets yeah. dropped in front of a main. So now Pancakes does have this area. I, I, I feel that. Sometimes it feels bad too, but you have to consider how much pressure you can put on the other team. Guard chest. What a play there. They keep the game alive. And now they have an opportunity to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. There was such a stranglehold on the game by the guard before this. You almost didn't see around uh, able to be picked up by a crew as they were going. We finally get one of our first 1v1s in a while here as the guard has really just been laying it down and setting up a clinic. Crew bring themselves within far in, but it's a correct call on the defense by a crew, Vance. How can this play out? Well, it's going to be a Hunter's Fury right away. And that's Trent and also the Blade Storm from Sire Player just floating inside the site, trying to get this kill. Does not work, but he dashes away. That works out at least. He sprays back now towards the spawn side. His calm is trying to hold things back. And we got a bunch of trades going in. Trent's on a two versus one, looking to clutch this, but the spike is down. Cosmic Divide on the defender side. He's trying to hold back towards the sidewalk. A lean out for the first kill. Oh, what a flick! They ought to 
pancakes and it's gonna be the 